Hello everybody, today I will be showing you how to make your own texture pack for Terraria. Um, so, a few things you're going to need to do. First of all, you're going to need to open up Steam, uh, which is that part there. You type in Steam and go into the file, and it should come up with these. Go into Steam Apps, go into Common, go into Terraria, and then go into Content. You will have these here, that's the ordinary wave bank by the way, if you watch my text about one you'll know that I changed that for that, but you, if you're making your own, I don't think, well, that's uh, that's something to do with the music I believe, but uh, yeah, you won't need to change it for that. The files for all the uh, like images and that, for the textures, come in a .xmb file type, which is not ed editable, like that, so it's... Yeah, so you have to change that to a .png. Uh, so what you need to do is get something called an XNB exporter, which is this here. I will link that in, descri in the description. Extract the graphics. Just scroll down and click download right there. So that's pretty easy. Once you get that, you're going to need to go into here, into the images file, and you're going to need to put it in here at the bottom that's where I've put it then all you do you click it and that will come up then you can have it you can type in one of these without the dot xmb at the end just type in like wall under under dash 11 just type that in or or you can then put um, or you can just click go for it which changes all of the files into dot png uh, so let me just try it with wall 20 and then that seems like the easiest way. Wall 20, click go for it, and it'll come up with that, and then boop, there you go, wall 20 at the end. you got that there, which is the .png, and then you've got that there, which is the XMB. The the PNG can be edited in that, so that's a good one to get. I don't need that, though, because I've already extracted them all and whatever. So, But if you, if you want to do all of them, then you just click go for it without writing anything in. So yeah, that's that's good enough. Um, <coughs> then what you need to do after you've extracted all the uh, PNGs, you've got to make a new folder and call it images two. Then just click enter. No space between the images and two. Then there you go. You got that. And then all you need to do then is put the. I've already got one here with all the .png uh, files in for all the different pictures and that, all the different textures, you've got the crystal hearts and stuff, so what I'm actually going to do is just quickly get rid of that one there and then put this one in there, there you go. Uh, then what you can do is open it up and you've got all these here, .pngs and that, so say if you wanted to edit the chest. What well, what you're gonna need now for editing it is uh, paint download paint.net, which I'm also gonna be putting in here. This here, just click free download, and once it loads, it'll just come up with that. One moment, there you go. It comes up at the bottom. Just save it, download it, and whatever. Uh, then once you have paint.net, you can open it. Uh, select like open with, and then use paint.net. This is what paint on it is. All you need to do is view, zoom in as much as you can until you can see every pixel or roundabout. There you go, you can see each pixel. So, say I got the white color, and then you put it there. There you go, that pixel's now been changed to that. You have to click it a few times, by the way, to get it to change. Try to get it directly in the middle, otherwise it just sort of gets a different square. So, but yeah, that's how you do that. You can change the chests and stuff. I'm not going to save that because I don't want to. Uh, don't save. As I said, I'm working on my own texture pack, um, which you don't have to do it in here, by the way. You can add, it, you can add it from your desktop. That's why I was leaving it there. But that's where you need to put the images to folder to run it. But what I'm going to do now is. I've got. I've only made one up to yet. That's, that's just an extra copy of the PNG files, and that there is what I made for my Christmas text pack, which is just the Terraria logo. Um, that's what you do. You go over it. This took quite a while because it's quite a big thing, and there's quite a lot of different 
yeah, you got to edit each one of these blocks and that. So there's quite a lot to edit on this, but I did it, and I've made it all Christmassy rather than the usual Terraria one, which is um, thingy green and that. So that's gonna be this is gonna be my Christmas logo. It does work, which is good. So say if I just go to images two and scroll down till I find the logo. Shh. I just need to find the Terraria logo. Oh, wait, it's there. So it's I've already put it in there, the one that I've edited. And then all you need to do is just exit out of those, port the images two folder into there. <coughs> yep. And then when you want to view your things in game, like I put in, I'll put the link to this again, which is the Terraria Texture Pack um, thing, the the, the Terraria Texture Pack .exe, This here, you put it in there again into the same folder as last time. <coughs> Click it, and it'll load it just like it does with the ordinary texture packs. Which it does. There we go. And. Should should soon uh, should soon enough. Right, it comes up with normal terraria. Just give it a few moments to change. Yeah, the terraria logo, which I knew by the way, is not yet completed. I need to still edit a few basic things on it and whatever. So there you go, and they changes to the Christmas one. So yeah, that's all nice. It's got uh, like well, there you go. I think that looks good actually. I spent quite a while doing that, so. Hmm. We just have to change each, each separate bit, but yeah, I think that looks good. I don't like the Santa hat very much. I don't think that looks too good. But I. I'll, I'll try and perfect that more. So, I wouldn't worry too much about that. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Just create your own textures and then you put them back into the images 2 file and there you go you're off it's just really simple so make your own textures shove them in and use that because like I say like I said before that's the only way to um, actually use terraria texture packs at the moment I believe because they've they've not yet like integrated terraria to use texture packs uh, if you could change the .png files back to xmb files which you can but yeah, you have to sort of buy something which I think costs like, uh, well, I don't know. It costs something apparently. It's a it's a pipeline for XNB photo files, so it's it's really confusing. But yeah, that's how you do it basically. Just make your own, get Paint.net to use it because uh, it's much well, it's quicker, so and easier. And there you go. That's pretty much it. So thank thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, just tell me in the comment section um have a nice day